All right, now let's get into round two. All right, so this this is really smart. The team's calling out a Junkrat trap, and the Zarya said, yo, let me get it. Again, that's perfect, free energy, nothing much to say there. Oh, you're supposed to you're supposed to step in it and get the energy. That's okay. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, this is really good communication right here. He's saying, uh, Winston, I just used my barriers. Wait for them to come back before you dive in. Really, that's really good communication. That way, your Winston knows. Like, if he jumped and be like, "Dude, where's the Zarya barrier?" Because that happens a lot when Zarya's aren't communicating. So, that's really smart. I would. I kind of. As Zarya, okay, actually, definitely. Now that this Lucio has died, and they have, look at all the spam they have. They have Junkrat, they have Symmetra. As Zarya, this is like, it's like Zarya's birthday. There is so much free energy to be had versus the enemy team comp. I just let your team know, hey, Lucio just died. I'm going to use rotation of barriers for energy. Winston, come up here and take some damage, and we'll regroup and go in. You will be at like 90 energy before the, anything even happens. All right, there's 50. Now you just need one more shield to be at 90. Oh, Lucy, he's going in after Lucio died. Not a fan. He did, that was a good... Still, really great barrier, though. Again, now... This is the problem with uh, Winston and Zarya uh, duos, right? The bubbles will constantly overlap if you haven't determined between the two of you the order in which you want to use your barrier. So, right, we shield Winston, but then he drops his bubble. So now our shield is... like The value is minimized a lot. I think... How much energy did we get for it? Right, 50. I think we got like 15 energy for that barrier. But the thing is, he can jump in, count to like 2, so this barrier takes damage, and then shield himself. And that's really the ideal, uh, you know, Zarya Winston play. Now again, that's... I Even in games I play, and when I'm the Zarya, I have such a hard time like playing with the Winstons, whether I'm doing with them or you know, like playing with them randomly, because I'll like hold my barrier and the Winston will hold his barrier, and then we both freak out, like oh we not, no one barriered, and then we both barrier at the same time. So again, it's really hard to do. So I'm not saying just just an improvement, a general improvement, not for Zarya, but between Zarya and Winston players. Now you have so much energy. You're fine. You don't. You can use your personal shield for one more poke rotation. But once Lucio comes back, you just need to go full in, save this projected barrier to make a play. Do not use it for energy. You're already such high energy. I like that you're committing to uh, just destroying this Reinhardt barrier, even though you're not pushing in. So that's really smart. Yeah, really good personal shields just consistently coming out of our player. Unfortunately, if you guys saw that, the Mercy did die. The blue Mercy did die. So once that happens, as the blue team, you're kind of realizing, okay, we're not going to push in without one of our main healers. So it's back into a poke phase. So we see the barriers come out to keep our energy up. Right, here we go. One more barrier for energy. Look at that. We're at, we're at such high energy, 100, and we still have our projected barrier. This is the this is my favorite position to be in as Zarya. I want to be full health, 100 energy with a projected barrier. If if I can accomplish that as Zarya, I feel like I've done a good job. So so good job to this guy. Now we just need to see this energy make a play. Oh, oh perfect. Finally we see the Did you guys see that? Our Winston jumped in, we barriered, and he waited. Right now that the barrier is gone, now he pops his own bubble. So finally we see the timing come out. That's really really good. I think we need to go in with our Winston though, just a little bit more. Good kill on the junk right there. Great kill, great, great bubble on the Lucio, who the Reinhardt's obviously going for. The one thing, um, another small improvement I think we can make is constantly call out your barrier cooldown when you're kind of in the wings so what i mean is right we kill this reinhardt the turret shooting us so we're like oh we step to the side right now is the perfect time to say hey winston i have shield in four seconds so he knows in his head and everyone in your team knows all right azaria bear is unavailable for the next four seconds and they can then act accordingly Ooh, you found the teleporter Job on the junk rat. Oh, this is a beautiful grenade. Right here. So again, using grenades versus characters that heavily rely on aim, like McCree, Widowmaker, Soldier, Hanzo, 
it makes it so much easier to beat them in a 1v1. So here our Zarya is at sub 200 HP and Hanzo like has her number. This first grenade, like she, he hits, but the first grenade A does a bunch of damage and then knocks him up. So now he has to like spend time coming around this corner to reacquire Zarya. And our Zarya plays this so smart, 88 energy, she tosses one grenade like inside the room and the AoE is just going to kill the Hanzo. So she like, she played that engagement perfectly. Alright, see you have Graviton, so this is when I want the announcement to come out. I have Graviton. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Did you seriously get solo earth shattered? You can't even be upset about that. He earth shattered only you, so that's unfortunate, but... I really want your mercy to honestly res you and Lucio. Maybe McCree died nearby too. Oh, hey, look at that. Alright, I'm gonna just... I'm rewinding and turning up the comms. I think he says Graviton. Let's all reset. No, he doesn't say it, unfortunately, but... Alright, so we get rezzed. Let's look at the targets we see on screen before we use this grab. Ooh, okay, so we see Torb, Symmetra, Reinhardt. Yeah, so Symmetra is right here. Torbjorn, Reinhardt. Oh, and you had fa and you had Fair combo? I, where was your scoreboard? Okay, right here when you scoreboarded. I think you're calling for the Fera combo, and what you need to do is now look for her and shield her, because if she gets like slept by Anna, that's gonna like ruin your whole combo and be very unfortunate. Now, we've seen the result, it's not the case, she doesn't get slept, but the barrier that you use here, right when you press this Graviton, you need to be looking for your Fera. Uh, you shield someone else, which is fine, but this is definitely the better shield. Oh, that's unfortunate. So this, I don't, I know I've talked about it for the poke phase barrier and whatnot, but just one uh, quick note is when you are in this poke phase, make sure you see the enemy spam coming at you before you use the shield. As you see, we use the shield really, really early versus this Hanzo. We could have probably just waited for Junkrat to shoot some bombs at us and then ate those instead. All right, so now that Fair has died again, we are we are re-entering another poke phase. So make sure you get a lot of value of these next two barriers. So again, we use the barrier a little bit prematurely, right? There's no we, Junkrat is this the biggest energy giver and Symmetra. Just wait, just wait for him to give us energy and then use the shield. Let's go right side to, uh, and up. I didn't even see your projected barrier. Oh, Lucio did step in front of everyone, so I understand why he did it. So, the thing, so let's talk about this positioning right here. I know you're calling to go to the right hand side, but you need your Reinhardt to lead that charge. So, what happens is. Right here, he says his barrier is down, and he most likely retreated. He doesn't want to push in with no barrier. So when you push in right here, uh, right, we see the whole team is still behind because the Reinhardt shield broke. So if you're playing behind your Reinhardt, you'll be aware his shield broke, and you can either say, go in, I'll have a bubble for you, or you'll follow the call and fall back. So we just kind of got a little antsy, overextended just a little bit, um, and we are punished for it. Good job killing the turret. Where was your projected shield? Sorry, I went with that. You sped in, and I didn't even notice it. Uh, so you shielded your Winston here because he he's only has like a hundred health. So I understand why you did it. The sound barrier does come out, making it a little bit redundant. But and you know it's not a it's not that bad of a barrier. You just didn't want him to die. You didn't want this push to be lost because Winston died before the sound barrier was applied. Okay, zero ammo reload there. Right here was just a, a slightly unfortunate. You start reloading right as Symmetric comes out. 
Uh, I'm sure you felt bad about that as it is. And she, look, she kills your McCree. Oh, does she? Oh, no, Torbjorn killed McCree. Excuse me, never mind. But she was able to do damage and help Torbjorn kill McCree because we were reloading. But it looks like Torbjorn did the brunt of the damage. Great focus on the healer. Your bubbles have been a bit lackluster in the second half of this second round. And I think it's just nerves kind of getting to you. You're not taking the time to evaluate the situation before using your bubbles. And we've just kind of been consistently seeing that with all of your barriers. So it, it is a draw, which unfortunate. it is unfortunate. They had a really solid push in there when we did the, get the Graviton off. Then the Junkrat came in clutch with the tire, killed the Zarya and the McCree. Um, so it is an unfortunate push. I think the first round was definitely better Zarya played than the second round. We saw a lot of, um, I don't want to say wasted barriers because your team staggered a lot. You know, Pharaoh would die, and then Mercy would die, and then Lucio would die, and then McCree would die. And they all happened like 5-10 seconds after each other. So you guys were just stuck at the choke for so long. Um, so that's not your fault. You did a good job not doing what they did. You had the one over extension, which we talked about. Uh, I think you only had one Graviton this game, and you had the follow-up combo with the Pharah. Just make sure you shielded her next time. But for the most part, this second round is definitely you were bearing very preemptively, especially when you were, were in those elongated poke phases. Make sure you see the spam. You know, they have obvious sources of spam, whether it be Torb Turret, Symmetra, or Junkrat. Those are the ones you want to aim for. You don't really want to aim to catch Hanzo spam because he has like he doesn't really have a tell. Um, so just a little improvement there. Overall, really solid Zarya game. Just have to uh, be more consistent across the game. Like like I said, the first half was definitely much better than the second half. And yeah, like I said, your one positioning mistake was pushing past the Reinhardt shield, and then your Reinhardt fell back. So that's going to be it for this review, guys. I hope I did a better job of not beating a dead horse with explaining stuff um if you think i did or didn't let me know in the comments and if you want to see more of these feel free to follow me on twitch i do do these live three times a week at 1 p.m eastern and if you want to get the latest videos or see these VOD reviews on youtube feel free to subscribe on youtube and if you want to get updates on when i am streaming you can follow me on twitter all this stuff will be in the description below i hope this video was helpful guys thanks for watching and everybody have a good day Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button on the right hand side. And if you want to see more videos, check out these two on the left. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.